Now, ladies and gentlemen, your host for the evening, please welcome the star of Life is Crazy Good, Carlos Oscar. Come on. Thank you for having me tonight. We're going to get the show rolling right now. Let me come over here. We need your excitement for tonight. All right. Now, this is the point here. We're at a point in this evening where we get to hear, be, hold, stay there and keep attention because we're going to get to hear from our national president. He is tireless in his efforts to maintain the high ideals and clear objectives to the ship mission. Now, I know I speak for the entire board when I say that there is nothing more, nothing more important than President Fernandez than this event right now. Please welcome SHIP National President, Serafin Fernandez. <laughs> Serafin, oye. oye. Is he back there? He's not here. He's not, where's he at? They, you know what? They have her do the live remote camera. If he, he's got to be, maybe he's getting, is he nervous? Can you put the remote? Do you mind? Hey, princess. It's ship time, not spa time. Serafin, Serafin, oye. Listen, this is, uh, you're the president of SHIP. You can't be on Latino time, please. <laughs> All right, get the chin, get ready. We're, we're, we're waiting. Let's give it up for the president right here. Good evening. I'm glad to be with you finally. I, have, I hope that you're enjoying yourself tonight. How's, how are you doing? What an amazing show. What an amazing uh, presentation by our award winners. I have never seen such high caliber of uh, speeches. I'm, you know, I, I've heard some of these and I'm just so intimidated. Um, so, um, th this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Just last month, we were celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. This time of year gives us the opportunity to reflect on our culture, our pride, and our people. We get to reflect on Latinos that have contributed to making America a better country. We get to learn of great achievements in America made by Hispanics that we were not aware of. It's a time to be proud. Well, I know that Hispanic Heritage Month is an opportunity for the rest of the country to get to know us and learn of the great contributions that we make to the country. And it also gives us, as Latinos, a month to boost our pride and passion for what we do and contribute. I feel privileged to serve an organization where I am reminded on a daily basis of your contributions. I see what you do for our community and what you do for our country to make it a better place. And I see it on a daily basis. I don't wait for September, October to be reminded or to celebrate. I celebrate you on a daily basis. And tonight, I want you all to help me celebrate some of my Latino, Latino heroes. 
I want you to help me honor and celebrate our national leadership, starting with our national board of directors who breathe and live the ship mission on a daily basis, who contribute countless hours to execute a strategic plan that will touch and change the lives of thousands of people across America. Please help me in celebrating Nicolin Hernandez, Michael Gutierrez, Barry Cordero, Andrea Sanchez, Wendy Sepulveda, Daniel Sainz, Jennifer Arguello, David Vera, David Sequeira, Elvia Morales, Karen Siles, Claudia Goggin, Natalie Sabine. Please help me acknowledge them. Please help me honor and celebrate the great contributions that our undergraduate and graduate student representatives make. They lead an army of more than 10,000 students across the country who march to the mission of SHIP and who take STEM to the local communities. Without their efforts, we would not have reached over 10,000 pre-college students and parents last month through our Noches de Ciencias. Please help me celebrate Ariana, Jeremy, Amanda, Silvana, Carolina, Lucas, Gabriel, Javier, Laura, Indira, Karem, Federico, Jorge, Susana. Please stand up and be recognized. I want to celebrate and honor our Foundation Board of Directors, who assures that our programs are strategically aligned with the mission of our organization and will make the greatest impact. Please help me in honoring and celebrating our Foundation Board of Directors, Ms. Diana Gomez, Miguel Alemani, Adalio Sanchez, Dean Amir Jose Macari, Dr. Steven Castillo, Karen Siles, Rodrigo Garcia, and Rosendo Cruz. Please help me honor and celebrate them. Please help me honor and celebrate our national staff. They are the glue that keeps us all together. Without them, we would not be able to accomplish any of this. Our national staff, staff please stand up to be honored and celebrated. Please help me honor and celebrate our industrial partners. This is a group of companies that not only provide financial support to our organization, these are organizations who are in the trenches with us, helping us develop and execute our strategic plan. These are individuals who believe and trust in our mission, and they are partners who understand our community and see us as the solution. Please help me in honoring and celebrating them. These, my friends, are my heroes. Your national board and student leaders, foundation board, staff, and IPCs. Tonight, I dedicate probably my last SHIP National Conference presidential address to you, my heroes. You changed my life, and I thank you for that. By no means am I done, and you know that, <laughs> because we are not done, you know? I have a confession to make. I was trying to relax a little bit right before this presentation. I went to the spa for a quickie treatment, and that's why I walked up a little bit winded. But let not, don't let that be a sign that it's time for us to relax. We are still navigating through some very difficult times. And at the same time, the needs from our community and our organization continue to grow and are greater than ever. We are at a critical time where we must produce in order to mitigate some of the problems facing our world. The expectations from SHIP are greater than ever. And so it is very important that we remain focused, that we remain committed, and most importantly, that we work together so that we can meet those expectations and continue to be a source for solutions, a source for positive growth, and a source of pride. 
Congratulations to all our start winners and honorees. Thank you for your contributions, not only to the STEM community, but also to our Latino community. You are the role models that our young children aspire to be. You are the heroes that we celebrate today and every day. And the rest of the country will hear from you in Hispanic, uh, Heritage, Her Hispanic Heritage Month next year. You bring pride to our community. Thank you. It's been another life-changing experience serving as your national president these last two years. I am very proud of what we have been able to accomplish. I am confident that we will continue to succeed, enhance the engineering pipeline, and continue to bring solutions that will make our world a better place. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much.